good evening room 207 and tonight before you go to bed hopefully this read aloud will find you and I am going to read you chapter 2 part 1 chapter 2 of Crenshaw okay so Rossi is in my lap right now I just woke him up for a nap I need him as a prop I enjoyed getting a picture of from Eamon today, thank you so much for sharing um, you reading with your dog. I loved it. All right, so I'm going to remind you that yesterday, oh, Rossi's being blocked here. You can see his ears still. Yesterday we visualized, and I modeled that for you while you were re while we were while I was reading, and I wanted you to do that today while you were reading your books. And um, tonight I'm going to model making connections. So connections. I can make connections to myself and text to text as I read. All right. So today you are going to be, I mean, today I'm going to model that tonight and tomorrow when you're reading, you are going to practice that making those connections. Okay. All right. You ready? All right. Here's French on. And here is um, another cat. This is um, a cat that looks just like my previous cat before I had Rossi named Goofy and sometimes I read to Goofy as well. Goofy's no longer with us, but um, he's with us in spirit. He was also a little tuxedo. Okay, here I go. Ready? Chapter two. Here's the thing. I am not an imaginary friend kind of guy. Seriously, this fall I go into fifth grade at my age, it's not good to have a reputation for being crazy. I like facts. Always have. True stuff. Two plus two equals four facts. Brussels sprouts taste like dirty gym socks facts. Hmm, okay, maybe the second one's just an opinion. <gasps> opinion, hmm. I'm making a text to self connection right now and I'm thinking about an opinion paper I wrote not that long ago about monkeys. Hmm. So that is how you make connections to yourself as you read. I never, I've never eaten a dirty gym sock, so I could be wrong. Facts are important to scientists, which is why I want, which is what I want to be when I grow up. See how I corrected there? I knew that that didn't make sense. You could do that too. Nature facts are my favorite kind, especially the ones that make people say, no way. Like the fact that a cheetah can run 70 miles per hour. Or the fact that a headless cockroach can survive for more than two weeks. I want to be an animal scientist. I'm not sure what kind. Right now, I really like bats. I also like cheetahs and cats and dogs and snakes and rats and manatees. So those are some options. I like dinosaurs too, except for them all being dead. For a while, my friend Marisol and I both wanted to be paleontologists and search for dinosaur fossils. She used to bury chicken bones left over, chicken bone leftovers in her sandbox for digging practice. Marisol and I started a dog walking service this summer. It's called Sea Spot Walk. Sometimes, when we're walking dogs, we'll trade nature facts. Yesterday, she told me that a bat can eat 1,200 mosquitoes in an hour. Right, so now I want you to go ahead and practice making a connection about something I just read. The nature facts, the cheetah, the headless cockroach. Okay, all right, I'm gonna keep reading now. Facts are so much better than stories. You can't see a story, you can't hold it in your hand and measure it. You can't hold a manatee in your hand either, but still, stories are lies. When you get right down to it, and I don't like being lied to. I've never been much into make-believe stuff. When I was a kid, I didn't dress up like Batman or talk to stuffed animals or worry about monsters under my bed. My parents said, when I was in pre-K, I marched around telling everybody I was the mayor of Earth. That makes me think Olivia. <laughs> but that was just a couple of days ago. <laughs> sure, I had my Crenshaw phase, but lots of kids have an imaginary friend. Once my parents took me to see the Easter Bunny at the mall. We stood on fake grass next to a giant fake egg in a 
in a giant fake basket. When it was my turn to pose with the bunny, I took one look at his paw and yanked it right off. Do you have any connections to the Easter bunny? Hmm, Easter is this month. For some of you who, who celebrate it, a man's hand was inside. It had a gold wedding ring and tufts of blonde hair. The man, this man is not a rabbit, I shouted. A little girl started bawling. Bawling, hmm, what do we think bawling means? The mall manager made us leave. I did not get the free basket with candy eggs or a photo with the fake rabbit. That was the first time I realized people don't always like to hear the truth. All right, we're gonna stop there. That's the end. And tomorrow, we're gonna read you chapter three. All right, have a good night and I will um, see you again tomorrow.